What is up guys, Andrew here from Sinema with a huge video for you today. As uh, some of you may know, the Samsung Galaxy S4 has been launched today, or more or less announced. Basically, I, I watched the live stream, over 400,000 people watched it as well, so some of you may already know this information, but I'm going to cover basically everything they, they said. It was uh, really cool to watch. The one thing I'm going to say is, before we get started, is that... They did not announce what processors were inside the phone. Everything else that I could think of between the rumors that people leaked are here. So let's get started. The official name is the Samsung Galaxy S4. It will be available in two colors, black and white, and more specifically, it's called Black Mist, White Frost. It's slimmer, stronger, and more solid, as they like to put it. It will be available in 3G and 4G LTE. I believe they said that it would come out like the end of April, I believe. It's a richer, simpler, fuller. It is 136.6 millimeters long. It is 68 millimeters wide. It weighs 130 grams and is 7.9 millimeters thin, making it just a little tiny bit thicker than the iPhone 5. It is made out of polycarbonate materials. Like I said, black mist and white frost as the colors. As for the display, it is a full 5 inch screen with a full HD Super AMOLED display, 1920 pixels by 1080, giving it a 441 pixel per inch ratio. It uses a new visual effects engine which allows for the like the home screens to be extremely fluid. It looked very nice. It uh it supports 100 megabits per second up and 50 megabits per second down. It uh, has Wi-Fi, ABGN. It also has Bluetooth 4.0, which is good. It has an infrared remote control, so you can basically control your TV. For the cameras, there is a 13 megapixel rear camera and a two megapixel front facing camera. It has two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It will be available in 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte models and also supports micro SD with another 64 gigabytes expandable, giving it a total of 128 possible gigabytes of memory. Back to the infrared sensors, it also has an infrared gesture and humidity and temperature sensor. As for the battery life, a uh, main thing that people really wanted to have a good battery so it is 2,600 milliamp hour battery, so that's really, really large for a cell phone battery camera. It has a dual camera feature, which basically is you can use both cameras at the same time. So you can record uh, with the rear camera and the front camera at the same time. That is used with an on and off feature. So that's really cool. There's going to be a ton of uses for that. Another cool feature is that you can take photos while recording sound. So you can send a picture with sound in the background, which is really neat. It has this thing called a drama shot, and that is where it can take over 100 pictures in four seconds. Another cool feature is that it has an eraser feature, which basically, if, if you know, you're taking a picture or a video and somebody walks behind the camera, what this does is that it'll take that person or group of people out of the photo so it's just what you want, which is really neat. It has an air view with finger. It has an S translator feature that th this is a really cool thing. It can translate any language using text to speech or speech to text. And currently it will support 10 languages and it can translate written text, which will be very handy if you go travel around the world. It has an adaptive display which auto adjusts the screen. Uh, it makes the screen comfy for your eyes depending on which environment you are in. Say like it's sunny or cloudy out or even when you're playing games. There's a feature called story album where you can automatically take the photos that you have taken and turn them into an album. And you can add tags to these photos and you can send them to about 70 countries. So if you have an album of photos that you took on vacation, you can take that album and have it sent anywhere around the world to those 70 countries. It'll cost between like 10 and $30 according to what they said. For TV features, it can sync to the TV. Uh, it's called Home Sync. You have a terabyte of space. So that's 1000 gigabytes. So that's a lot. That is a lot. A lot of storage and it can support eight different users for this home sync and it it uses 
near field communications, which is nice as well. Say you're driving in a car and you need hands free. There's this thing called S voice drive. It connects via Bluetooth and it automatically has the navigation installed. It's hand free. You can respond to messages, answer calls, basically like the same things that Siri can do. For people that want to like take all the info and contacts and photos on your old phone and transfer it over to the Samsung Galaxy S4, you can do that. Uh, with a software called Smart Switch, and it's by your PC. So that will be handy for those who don't like doing it in the, you know, carrier stores. A random little thing is that the screen, you can like touch it with gloves on. So if it's cold out, you can use your gloves. There's things called Samsung Hub. There is a new thing called Samsung Knox which is enhanced security. Simply, it's basically two phones in one, but security wise. So you can have your personal side of the phone and your work side of the phone, and basically it keeps one super secure. So basically from malicious software. So that'll be handy, especially for corporate offices, work, people like that. Another cool feature is this thing called group play. Basically you can share music with up to eight Galaxy S4 devices. It's fully customizable, so basically what I mean by that is that each device can work as a 5.1 surround sound, so one phone could be left speaker, one phone could be right, one could be bass, and this works with photos as well. On to video calling. Video calls will be supported up to three people, and it can support that dual camera feature I mentioned earlier, so you can use both cameras at the same time, and you can also share screens, which is like the people that you're video calling with can see what you're looking at. So basically, in comparison, this is like FaceTime for Apple. Another really nice feature is something called Air Gesture. You can work the screen with a swipe of the hand without actually touching the screen. That was a huge rumor, and it, it's come true. And also, you can answer phone calls with a swipe over the phone as well. You can tilt the phone to scroll up and down so you're reading reading a message on your phone. Simply tilt it one way to scroll up and or tilt it the other way to scroll down. That's handy. Another cool feature that people thought would come out is called auto pause. So basically, if you're watching a video or a movie, you take your eyes off the screen, it will automatically pause that video. And then when you look back at the screen, it will automatically play. One of the last features that they announced is something called S Health. It's like a health companion app type thing. I feel like it will be really useful for people that like to exercise with their phones. It can keep stuff like heart rate, how many calories you've burned, simple stuff like that, that, that some people will just find really, really handy. One of the last things that they said is the, a case, an accessory case is called the S cover. However, you can look at important parts of the screen with this cover on as well as open up this cover and the screen will automatically go on or off depending on whether the screen's open. And finally, it will ship with Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. Unfortunately, I was not at the event. I'm sitting in my basement on my computer. So I don't have access to like the actual phone. I, I There's no way for me to mess around with it until it ships. As of right now, like I said, no processor has been announced. Unfortunately, I have no idea what it is, but people are saying there, there could be like two different versions of it. Like a, an international model will use the Samsung Exynos Octa, so an eight core chip. And then, you know, people are speculating that the US variant of the phone will use Qualcomm's Snapdragon 600 processor. And I'm sure some of you have no idea what the heck I'm saying. And I really don't know what I'm saying either. So anyway, guys, that's all the information that I know about the phone. I hope you guys thought this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Send me a private message. I, I answer all questions. So anyway, guys, thank you for listening to this long rant of technical specs about the phone that you could totally have looked up online, but you chose to watch my video. And I thank you for that. As more information about this phone comes out in the future, I will definitely let you guys know. And one last thing, I do plan on doing an unboxing of this the day it is available in the U.S., I will be buying it. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.